Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Thanks for tuning in. So this morning, I've been feeling extremely lazy. I do not feel like doing like a full on practice. I don't feel like working out. But I do like doing at least like a little bit of stretching and movement just to get the day started. I always feel just a lot better throughout my day if I can at least get my body going. So I thought might as well put it on here because maybe someone out there wants to join me. All right, so let's get started. Um, let's just find our way to a tabletop. <clears throat> And from here, let's spread our hands nice and wide and come into some cat cows. So on your inhale, arching your back, gazes up, lifting your tailbone. And on your exhale, rounding your back to cat pose, tuck the tailbone, tuck in your chin. Inhaling cow. Exhale cat. few more times with your own breath. Feel free to close your eyes if that feels nice. Just connecting your breath to your movement. I notice if I make a connection to my breath first thing in the morning, it really helps me to Breathe a bit more consciously and breathe deeper throughout the rest of my day as well. Now feel free to kind of explore the movement, take some side to side lateral stretches, maybe sway the hips a little bit. Good. From here, tuck your toes under and sit back on your heels, just stretching out the arches of the feet here. Let's bring the shoulders up and back. Inhale and exhale. Now let's go forward. Finding stillness here. Let's interlace the hands behind us to rinse off the shoulders. Keep a soft bend in your elbows. Puff up through the chest. Let's drop the chin to the chest. Slowly bring left ear to your left shoulder. And right ear to the right shoulder. Chin back to chest, chin up towards the ceiling. This way, gentle side to side. Chin back to neutral and release those feet. Shake them out a little bit. Good. From here, let's bring it to a thread the needle. So inhale your right arm high. Feel this opening of your chest for a moment. And then thread that right arm underneath the left as you find your right shoulder down to the carpet. Option to bring your left arm forward or maybe take a half bind. Maintaining your breath. Using your exhale to detoxify your body. Release negative thinking. Let's plant that left hand back by the face. Inhale, right arm high. Gently release, let's switch to the other side, left arm high. Just being gentle with yourself, not needing to force it. Thread it underneath the right arm. Finding your variation, maybe right arm forward or half bind. Good. 
Again, maintaining your breath, that is a very important part of any yoga practice or really any activity in life. <laughs> That's why we say yoga is a lifestyle. It really helps us to just remember to breathe deeper throughout our day and through the physical body, releasing tension and stress in the physical that can really help us with the mental and emotional bodies as well. Planting the right hand by your face again. Inhale, left arm high. And slowly release it. From here, bring your big toes together, knees wide and apart, sinking back to a child's pose. Really send your breath all the way down to your lower back, all the way up your spine. On your next inhale, reach your hands a little more forward. On your exhale, sink your hips a little bit deeper. Inhale, reach forward. On your exhale, take your arms all the way over to the left to stretch out your right side body. Option to press your right palm on top of your left and sink your right hip back. Inhale, come back to center and all the way over to the other side. And let's come back to center. From here, tend to your fingertips wide, elbows in line with the shoulders, and then just sink your forehead back down. Drawing the shoulder blades together behind you. Maybe give yourself a little bit of a forehead massage, rocking side to side. Let's slowly come all the way up. From here, come back to a neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes under. Let's sit, send the hips high to a downward facing dog. From here, just pedal out your feet, getting into your hamstrings, the backs of the legs. Press the ground away from you, shoulders up away from your ears. Send your tailbone high. Keep a soft bend in those knees and just walk out your dog right and left. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale all the way out. Come high on your tiptoes and then sink your heels back down towards the ground. Sway the hips. Release the neck. (sighs) 
From here, let's walk the hands back to the feet, bend your knees and hang in right doll. Grabbing opposite elbows. Here, I'll sway that side <laughs> so my hair isn't in the way. So let yourself just hang, be loose. Find a gentle sway side to side. Release the neck. Again, a good, generous bend in those knees just to really help alleviate the lower back. Feels good. Let's tent the fingertips and just walk out the legs a few times. The ground is not accessible. Please bend your knees more or even place your hands on your legs. Good. From here, let's slowly bend the knees. Come all the way back down to your sits bones. Let's get into the hips a little bit. So we will bring the left leg in and then the right leg, just coming to an easy seated pose. Now you can stay right here or you, come, you can come into a swastikasana, crossing the right shin on top of the left. It's kind of like a fire log. However, if this right knee is like all the way up here, it's probably a better option to just stay in an easy seated pose, okay? So wherever we are, let's flex the feet and sit tall. If this is a nice stretch for you right here in your right hip, you can stay or maybe begin to fold forward. With every single exhale, allow yourself to release anything that might be weighing you down right now. Releasing stress. Let's inhale, slowly bring ourselves all the way back up and release the leg, shake them out. Let's just switch on over to the other side, right leg in, left leg in, or left shin on top of the right for swastikasana. Again, this is not about how you look or how far you can go into the posture. This is all about our own unique progress and journey and just knowing that we're doing something good and healthy for ourselves so we can live a better life. So either staying right here or inhale to lengthen your spine and exhale to fold forward. And you want to be conscious with your breath as you stretch. Again, every exhale is creating space for yourself. It's like releasing anything that is not serving you. With every single inhale, you are bringing in nourishment, oxygen, oxygenating your cells, nourishment for your mind, maybe even breathing in an intention, something to start your week off right, you know, something that you want to bring into your life or bring into yourself, more clarity, more happiness. Whatever it is, with every single inhale, just allowing yourself to take it in. Slowly bring ourselves all the way back up and shake out the legs. Okay, you guys, so from here, let's just end this short little practice with a quick meditation just to really 
gather everything into ourselves, start the week off right, release any clutter or negativity, fill ourselves with positive, good energy. So find just a simple, easy pose. Take a moment to sit tall, bringing the shoulders over the hips, lengthening all the way through the crown of your head, lifting your chest, relaxing your shoulders. Let's close the eyes. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale from the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Pausing the breath at the top of your inhale, holding. Exhale from the mouth. This next time as we inhale, I want you to visualize a bright ball of energy at the very base of your spine. With your inhale, you're bringing this light all the way up through the crown of your head. And with your exhale, it is washing over your whole body and clearing out anything that is not serving you. So let's take another deep inhale. Pausing the breath. Exhale, clear everything out. And deep inhale. Holding the breath, bringing energy all the way up through the crown of the head. Exhale, let it all go. One more just like that. Pausing the breath at the top of your inhale, adding in a few more sips of air if you can. Exhale slow. Just noticing the softness within yourself and allowing yourself to truly be soft, coming into the stillness of the present moment, maybe setting an intention to be more mindful, be more present throughout the day, and becoming more aware of when we are creating stories within our mind that are not serving us, knowing that we have the power to create a beautiful present moment at every part of our day. Let's take a few moments of silence just to seal in our practice, create your own intention for the rest of your week. you're ready to start your day let's bring hands to heart center thank you so much for joining me in this short little practice of ours it was an honor to guide you i hope the rest of your week is smooth and beautiful and is full of just magic the light in me sees and honors the light in you namaste